Hey, what's up guys? This is my review of the Black Hound Evolve, the three to 18 by 50 and the five to 25 by 56. All right, now to save you guys some time, I combined these two videos. I've got a lot of good downrange images from both, but I'm gonna go ahead and spoil it up front. They're badasses. All right, let's kick it off. Let me show you how these things look through the scope at the range. First off, she's a damn beauty. Now here's a look at it at 105 yards. Sorry, my range is not set up for 100 yards on five, 10, 15, and 20 power. And you can see it jump up to 25, right before it zooms coming up, looking at the turrets. There you go. All right, check out the turrets. Listen to this. Very, very crisp. Both of them tracked and repeated perfectly. Now on the vertical tracking and the horizontal tracking, that'll be done by the five to 25 by 56. When I do the box test coming up here in a minute, that'll be the three to 18 by 50. And here in just a second, you'll see both of them back to back so that you can see the difference. There may be a slight focus difference, but other than that, you'll be able to tell. All right, this is the three to 18 by 50 with the box test very crisp. It's fixing to return right back to zero just like it did on all the other tests. Now let's take a look at all the features on this scope starting with the fast focus eyepiece. Now this thing is super super smooth. I test a ton of scopes and this one is right there with any scope that I've tested that's in the $1,500 price range. This one's half that much. It's got a throw lever that really helps to turn the magnification from one end to the other, 180 degrees. The lever's not really needed, but it's nice that it's there. It's illuminated with a standard 2032 lithium battery. It's pretty much everything that you see on any scope, and it's real easy to find. Now, the side focus goes down to 20 yards. It's not marked, but as time goes by, guys are gonna see less and less of these turrets are gonna be marked. Now you can reset the turret by loosening these three screws, pulling it up. Now right here, you'll see the built-in zero stop. If you'll also look, you'll see it's all metal and clean inside. There's a zero stop on the inside of the cap. And as promised, as soon as I get this cap back on, you're gonna see the three to 18 versus the five to 25 at 100 yards. Don't worry about the focus difference. It's just hard to get this. I was trying to do it as fast as I could back to back, but you can see the 3D18 is slightly, slightly brighter. Available in MOA and MIL. And if you look in the links below, you'll see these videos where I'm torturing the shit out of this scope. Guys, thanks for watching. It means more to me than you can imagine. Now below, you're gonna see a link to Blackhound. And if you'll use my code, Cyclops, when you get to Blackhound, you get ready to check out, it'll save you 5% at Blackhound Optics. Now I'm an affiliate for Blackhound, but if something about these scopes sucks, I'll say it. If something's great, I'll say that too. This new Evolve line is really, really good. There's a huge gap in scopes between about $500 to about $1,500, especially for the precision scopes. There's the budget stuff, $500 and less. I know to some guys not stop budget. And then there's the more premium stuff at $1,500, but in between, you're missing a lot of scope lines. This one feels that missing spot and it does it and stays way south of $1,000.